Right, so Mr. Palm here doing a pure theory video this time on traversing binary trees. Then the following two videos are going to show the actual implementation um, of, of these uh, techniques. So what we're looking at in this video is basically how we traverse binary trees. That breaks down into two sub-questions. What's the difference between breadth first and depth first? And then secondly, what's the difference between pre, in and post-order traversal? If you can explain those two sub-questions in italics, then you've got enough in-depth knowledge to answer the, the, the top question. So the first one is breadth first traversal. Okay, breadth first traversal is to do with the layers of the tree. So we're going to visit node n, then we're going to visit all of node n's children, then we visit all of node n's grandchildren, and then all of node n's great grandchildren, and etc. 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 All right. I'm just going to throw this out there now. When we do breadth first traversal, we make use of a queue. All right. Um, we will be seeing the actual use of a queue for this um, in the next video when we talk about the implementation. Um, and you'll see how it makes it really easy to do this. Okay, so breadth first traversal, as I've said, is about layers. So we're going to start off at node n being m bison. Okay, and then we're going to add um, m bison's left uh, m bison to the queue. Uh, we can output m bison and we're going to look at m bison's children. Okay, um, they've been added to the queue because we added Dalsim first. Okay, then um, basically uh, that we're going to now visit Dalsim's children first. So it's Blanca and E Honda. And then we're going to visit reused children, Vega. Then because we visited them in that order, we're going to then visit Balrog's children first. And then we're going to go see if Eon has any children. No, he doesn't. Does Vega have any children? No, he doesn't. Okay. Um, and we basically um, are going through the layers of the tree at a time. Now, it's all to do with the order in which we enqueue the data. So if we enqueued those child, child nodes in a different order, then a breath first traversal output would actually be different. So they, they are multiple basically um, possible outputs for um, a breadth first traversal. Gonna, one alternative might be something like M. Bison, Ryu, Dalsim, Vega, Blanca, E. Honda, Barro, Kami. Because basically Ryu was enqueued before Dalsim in the second version. And so therefore we visit Ryu's children before we go to Dalsim's children. All right. Now, um, with the depth first traversal, it's slightly different because basically we're going to go down one branch of the tree as far as possible. And again, we're going to, we can explore those branches in any, any kind of order. All right. So an example of a depth first traversal is I might go M. Bison, Dalsim, Blancar, Balrog. Okay. So I went, I basically went down one whole branch like this to see that whole branch in as much detail as possible. I knew I got to the end of the branch because the, both of those pointers at the bottom level down here are null. They don't point to any more nodes, therefore I've hit a leaf. Okay, I can then traverse that branch down here. And then what's left up here, I can then go traverse that branch. And then I might go down a different branch of the tree to see what else is going down the other side. Again, depending on the order in which we add child nodes to um, our um, uh, stack okay and sometimes you will see people talk about using stacks for uh, depth versus traversal um, it will uh, give me a different output okay um, now there are three different ways that we're going to actually talk about um, traversing a tree pre-order in order and post order okay now this is for a left to right traversal if I do a right to left traversal then the order of this would be slightly different Okay, so with a pre-order, pre-meaning before, I'm going to print the node before I visit the left subtree and the right subtree. Now, when I go in order, I'm going to visit the left subtree, then I print the node that I'm at, and then I'm going to visit the right subtree. And then with post-order, I'm going to visit the left subtree, visit the right subtree, and then print the node. Okay, so um, let's see what they look like actually, all right? So with this kind of pre-order traversal, I'm going to print the node I'm at, okay, which is here and bison, and then I'm going to visit the left subtree. So here I am, I go down here. So this is now going to be another call to um, the pre order function. So when I've done that call, I'm going to go right back up to step one, I'm going to be print node. So I'm going to print this node up here, and then I'm going to go visit the left subtree. But hey, guess what? I'm going to print that node, I'm going to visit the left subtree, I'm going to print that node. Now I've hit a leaf node, there are no children. So the next thing that's going to happen in for that call is that I'm now, I'm now going to go to step three, which is to visit the right subtree. So I'm going to print out Kami. Okay. Now this one's finished. There are no right subtrees left over here. So from Darcim, I now need to print out the right subtree. There are no left or right subtrees over here. So I'm going to go back up to M. Bison over here. And M. Bison is now going to trigger his right subtree. 
So again, I'm now back at step one. So I've got to print my node. So I'm going to print Ryu. Ryu has no left subtrees, but I'm going to visit the right subtree. And that's going to trigger another call. So back to step one, print node. So you can see how I kind of end up with that order of, um, uh, of output. Okay. So you can see I'm, I'm basically, got, as I said, depth first. I'm going down and I'm exploring each branch in as much detail as possible. Okay. Now, um, this is basically giving me like the head of each little tree as I'm going down. Okay. And in order, in order example, is something slightly different. Okay. So basically I'm going to uh, visit the left subtree. And then every time I visit the tree, it's a new recursive call. So I'm going to visit, visit. You can see I'm visiting, 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 visiting. Nowhere else left to visit. I'm going to print that node. Okay. Now that I printed that node, I'm going to try visit a right subtree. There is no right subtree. So I'm going to go back up to here. So you can imagine. So when I got to Blanca, Blanca had a call to visit the left subtree. I've done that. So that means now step two of this recursive call was to print the node. So I'm going to print out Blanca. And now I'm going to visit the right subtree. Okay, when I get to that right subtree, there is no left subtree here for me to, to go to. So I'm going to print that one out. There is no right subtree for me to, to deal with. So this recursive call is done. That recursive call is done. And I'm going to visit the right subtree over here now. You can see as I keep following this pattern, uh, I'm actually printing out the data in um, order. And hence it's called in order. Okay. And you can see here one of the advantages now of using a binary tree is that actually when we tr when we do this kind of in order depth first traversal, we can actually output all of the data in a sorted order because the binary tree is holding that data in a sorted form for us. The final um, depth first traversal that we're going to be talking about here is post order. Okay, the post order recursive calls are slightly different. Okay, here you can see we're visiting the left subtree, the right subtree, and then we're printing the node. All right. So I'm going to go left, 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 and then there is nothing else here for me to um, uh, follow, no more pointers, and therefore I'm going to print the node, and then that because of call is dealt with, I'm going to go back up here, and I need to uh, visit the right subtree, and then that's then I'm going to print out this node, there are no no um, sub um, items over here for me to do with, so I'm going to go back up. And that I've done I've done steps one and step two for this recursive call for Blanca. So now step three is for me to print him out. And you can see as I go through this post order um, uh, traversal, I'm basically printing out the children of the node before I print out the parent. Okay, so there's actually an easy way to do all of these depth first methods. Okay, because it can be quite tricky to remember uh, the, um, you know, what, what that's going to look like. All right. So the first thing you've got to do is you've got to draw a line uh, around uh, your your tree. Okay. So the, the line needs to touch, uh, uh, needs to be like an outline of all of the nodes on the tree. Now, if I'm doing my um, pre-order traversal, and this is on a left to right traversal only. Okay. I want to put a dot on the left hand side of each of my nodes. So basically, wherever the line touches first, that's the order in which um, I am going to output the nodes. So you can see that my pre order gives me a pre order. If I want to do a, an in order traversal, this time I draw a dot at the bottom of the tree. Okay, you can see where I've done uh, it at the bottom over here. Okay, so basically, if I follow the line now from left to right, around the tree or wherever the line touches the dot at the bottom of the node that's the that node needs to get output so you can see how uh if i follow that line i'm starting it in bison and i follow it all the way around nope 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 yes i'll put balrog i'll put blanca i'll put kemi i'll put dalsim i'll put e honda i'll put in bison i'll put ryu i'll put vega like that so you can see how it comes out in order so you can guess then if we're going to do a post order, I'm doing it black this time just so you can see it on the tree. So you don't get confused between orange and red dots. But basically, uh, I'm going to put the dot on the right hand side. And you can see then therefore I get a post order um, output from the tree. Easiest way to remember. 
um, how to do the, the traversal for that tree. So as you can see me, I've already said several times about traversal. It's a self-similar problem. There's only three steps to each of those pre, post, and in order. Uh, and therefore, any algorithm for um, uh, depth first traversal is going to be most impl easily implemented using recursion. All right, and we're going to see that in the next set of videos that uh, follow this about um, where we actually do the implementation. Okay, so you should be able to explain now how binary trees are traversed to find data, the difference between breadth first, which is outputting each layer at a time, and depth first, which is outputting each branch um, in its entirety at a time. Uh, and then the difference between pre, in, and post order traversal. And you should remember the little shortcut for doing uh, those, uh, you know, to, to work out what the output of a tree would be.